All right, so this video we're going to make a jumper or two. And so earlier I did this yellow one. I did it as a potential replacement for this red one. So I made this red one by hand with the hand tool a while ago. Now I have the automatic tool. And as you can see, I was able to make a much nicer wire. So what I did was I took the the wire, the yellow wire, and plugged I stripped one end and then plugged it into the board and then I just kinda tried to get a snip with a little extra there because we can always shorten it that's no problem and uh, actually I think this is gonna work pretty good right about there that extra amount I'll just stick this in there stripping as much wire as I can and it doesn't have to be perfect because the wire will adjust a little bit but let's put that into that slot there now and then lever it down this is solid wire so it moves pretty good so this probably got a little bit shorter I'm one row off from the two of them I want it straight across there we go so I think that'll work pretty well and it's not a bad idea to check continuity so we set it there that other one next to it so right now we got continuity kind of looks like a speaker making a beeping noise if we hit select we can test the diode but we want to stay with uh, continuity so this is going to be loud so I'm going to do it quick if you get a beep you know you have a good connection so those are plugged into the breadboard enough that they're connected to each other through the breadboard and that's what we want and of course you don't have to cut your own wires I've been using these pre-cut wires they came in the same kit actually as the uh, wire I've been snipping here but that that kits changed I don't know if it's the same and there's better value kits in my opinion but anyways we have these pre-cut jumpers they just plug in the uh, they they work great the only problem is I didn't have any that jump this is act distance so making these myself was kind of the best option in fact I even made this attempt with a, a hand tool which was a lot harder to, to be accurate on how things will turn out so this turned out much better but anyways uh, like I had to use the gray to jump here and orange to jump there so that I'm not blocking extra holes that's no big deal there but I have no good options on this side of the board and then when I position these switches I had to position them based on the length of jumpers I had so I had one here for close to close one for close to far and then I'm pretty sure I have a far to far jumper too and uh, that took a little while so a lot of my circuits revolve around the length of wire that I could find whereas now I can cut links to the exact value I want it's uh, a lot more helpful it's not a big deal either way but I show off my circuits I'd much rather you see something like this than something like that and it also makes it easier to see what the circuits doing if everything is neat so that's important for me if you're building your own circuits you can have wires everywhere and stuff you you know what's going on and you're gonna take it apart right away anyways if it's on the breadboard so it's no big deal but uh, definitely if you're gonna show off your circuits it's best to get wire that is a good length 